Hi friends, happy day to all. Let's make our day happy by doing the things we love. Today, I really love to do a terrarium. We are going to create a miniature garden in a glass container. You can easily make a beautiful terrarium yourself. It's fun. You have to try it. For any plants to grow, we need to prepare a substrate. First, I am going to show you how to make the potting mix for our succulents and cactus. We will be preparing a substrate such that the water drains out quickly and the roots don't rot. For this, you will need river sand 1 cup. We use river sand as its particles are loose and provides good drainage. It is also a media to hold the plant. Only river sand should be used and not beach sand. Next is compost. I used 1 cup equal to that of sand. Here I am using vermicompost. It gives structure to the substrate and provides nutrition for the plants. Half cup of gravel is used. It is used as a medium so that the water does not stagnate. Then this is perlite. We are using 3 fourth cup of perlite. I want to tell you why we use perlite in our potting mix. This perlite is nothing but a volcanic glass. It provides aeration to the soil keeps it loose, then gives good drainage. It also avoids compactness of the soil. Then we are adding charcoal as it fights any bacterial growth and removes impurities. Lastly, I have added cocoa bead one fourth of the cup. It is also light and drains easily. You can avoid using cocoa bead in a terrarium or in containers which does not have a hole at the bottom. This cocoa bead holds onto the water for some time and keeps the soil moist but does not clog the soil. As long as our potting mix is porous and drains water well, you can make your own with available things around. You need not worry if you don't have perlite or cocoa bead. Now mix all these together by adding little water to it. Our potting mix for succulents and cactus is ready. Come let's start doing our open terrarium. The things required for our terrarium are glass containers. Whenever I go shopping, I really go crazy collecting glass containers for making a terrarium. If you don't have one, get ready to hunt for it in your kitchen. Then you need pebbles, charcoal, potting mix and some plants. Here I use the plants available from my garden. I selected Havothia limifolia, a succulent known as Faris washboard and Cryptanthus pivitatus, a bromelade known as earth star, red star or even a starfish plant. The glass containers chosen should be deep and wide. Then take a mesh. Here I used a window mesh and I have cut it to the shape of the container. To start with, first we are going to make a foundation for our terrarium. For this we need pebbles or gravel and a mesh. Here I am using pebbles. These pebbles are used to maximize drainage as we do not want any excess water staying in our substrate. You can add pebbles for about 2 inches. Next, place the mesh on top of the gravel. This acts as a barrier between the substrate and the pebbles at the bottom. Now add little charcoal. This charcoal acts as a purification element that cleanses the water before going to the false bottom. On top of this I am adding my potting soil. It should be deep enough to plant depending upon the type of plant you use. Yeah. 
Now enjoy planting. I have planted Havothia a succulent and Cryptanthus a bromelade. These plants are small and suitable for a terrarium. And now I'm planting an aloe vera a succulent. You can plant them according to your theme. Next is the fun part. Decorate your terrarium with rocks, twigs, bugs of your choice. I'm watering the plants with a syringe, water to its roots and not on top of it. Don't spray water, sometimes the plants might rot. Use minimum amount of water. Don't over water your plants. Keep monitoring your plants daily. Water your plants once a week. They can survive without water even for two weeks. Keep them in a spot where you get sunlight for three or more. You can always enjoy your lovely creation with a broad smile. Positiveness and happiness spreads whenever you look at them. Stay happy.